Okay, so I'm going to pick it up from here, and basically the first part is an AI solve purely of this 2x2, two two, as I said before. Um, what we see here is we see that this uh, the first step is to take this tiny little corner here and match it up with a, a center edge over here. And match it up with, with an edge over here. This layer down here is being ignored for now. Um, so for to try that, I see the blue and red matches up over to here. Once I do that, I'm not going to take this and move it top side so I can move these freely together and not cause any destruction there. I'm going to be moving it as a 2x2, two two, uh, basically with a center here and center here, doing R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. The purpose of that is just to reorient this. So now continuing with this, I'm going to now find the white and red, which is going to be uh, along in here and then match that up with a red center. So let's see if I can find a white and red. This is the wrong one. It's in the wrong layer. So it's going to be here or here, here or here, here or here, here, aha, right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up so that I can move it to a red center here. R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. <clears throat> and again, D-I-R-D-R-I-D-I-R-D. Now we've got to be a little careful because this is not the only white and red in the batch. You've got another one here, but actually that's not the right one. So now let's match this up to a red and see where it's going to be able to bond to, which is right over here. Now that I've got this here, I'm going to R-I-D-I-R-D this until this is down over here so that it can combine with this piece here. R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. Now you can see how this layer by layer was designed only to place these three by three by three blocks. Just turns out that it's easier to place them like this. Now if you want to do a full AI solve, eh, you can do it different. Anyway, so this is here, wind it in and bang. I've got this one by two by two sheet, Now I'm gonna move this top side. R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. Now for an extra challenge, you can try not doing it layer by layer, but just putting three by three blocks on the bottom. But you can see that that was really the intention over there. So now that I have this, I'm going to find the blue and white. We've got a blue and white here, but it's obviously not the right one. So let's find the other one. Which is hanging out where? So it takes a little bit longer to find these things, but right over here. Now what I'm going to want to do is match this up to its other center colors. This is already here, so we find a white one. Is there one that happens to be placed? If not, we got to place one down. Bang, splat. Nope, nothing over here. So, let's see. Another contender that can possibly be used is this one. So, R-I-D-I-R-D. R-I-D-I-R-D. Move this in, so now we have this. Take this, move this so that it's in the center over here. R-I-D-I-R. D, R I D I R D, and bring it in. So now we have our first 2x2x2 two by two by two block, which collectively is simply a reduced version of this. So I've just reduced this block over here from here. As a matter of fact, it happens to be the same color scheme. So this is not this, this is just this. So now we continue our reductive AI solve by doing another one. Okay, so now we're going to get the next one. So I see that there's a blue and orange. Here's a blue and orange here, so I'm going to move this over here. It's the wrong blue and orange, so that's not the one, that's not the one that I want. So here's a blue and orange over here. That could work, but I have to separate it out from this first. Now alternatively, here's an orange and white, which might be able to find a home here. So why don't I move this over here, then I'm going to rotate this corner until it can match up to here. R-I-D-A-R-D. All right, D-I-R-D, will it work? Whoop, again. D-R-I-D-I-R-D, -I -I move it in, and that works over here. So now we're gonna take this, move it top side. R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D, -I -I so that's over here. Now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a blue and orange piece uh, which can match over here. Here's a blue and orange, but you can see it's not the right one. It's matched up wrong, so I kind of got lucky just seeing it placed over here. This is in the wrong layer, so let's find another one that's in the correct layer. This is also in the wrong layer, which leaves me with this. And luckily, this already has an orange associated with it, so turn it in. So now I have my one by 
two by two sheet, and we'll move that up. R D D I R D, and move this back. Okay, now that I have this, I'm going to be looking for the white and blue. White and blue is over here. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking to put all the proper centers in. Now, is that the correct white and blue? Um, to believe there's others. Well, this looks like the only one. So let's match this up with a white. Can't see it anywhere there. So where can I find a white? It would appear that this white next to this one is what I would want. It's a question of how to move it away from there. So, R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. No different from any A I saw that we've been doing. I just need to move this away from this white. So I'm going to move this over here, and that happens to match it up with the blue, so that's good. And I'm going to turn this around to match it up with this if I can. Uh, probably not because this is in the wrong place, but at least we'll turn this upside down. R, D. I'll move this back for now so that this is here. Um, I can check and make sure that this is the correct one, which it is. So now that I have this with the correct blue, I need to find a white to put it into. So R, I, D, I, R, D, R, I, D, I, R, D. Okay. So. To find a white that this belongs to, I'm still thinking it's probably this. Let's whip this around and see what happens. All right, D I R D. Aha! Right here. Move it in. Got this here. Move it down to the center. All right, D I R D. That's now in the center. Move this back. This is in. And now this is ready to accept this guy. Uh, to make it easier to visualize, I'm going to take this 3x3 block and exchange it with this to put it right next to here. So that's a corner swap to our U, to our UI, to our, turn, to our UI, to our U, to our. All right, so to put this in without destroying this, move it in, then move it one more beyond and do another corner swap to our U, to our UI, to R, turn over here, to R, UI, to R, U, to R, and this is simply moved once more, so this is in and this is in. So now we have reduced two of our blocks. Now we're going to do the dreaded last two. Now in an AI solve, admittedly this part is kind of intuitive for me. This is among the hardest to really describe exactly what's going on just because I tend to adapt to the situation. I'm just going to describe what I'm doing and hope that there's some good um, pointers that you might be able to get with this. But in any case, my recommendation is start off by getting one block and see where things are with another. Uh, taking opportunities as you can. So you can see that these, this one um, by one by two block uh, is in. So I'm going to go ahead and move this top side. R I D I R D. R I D I R D. So that's over here. So now it's a matter of looking to find another orange and uh, yellow and orange which is right over here. Now, at the same time, I can try to coordinate this corner with this. Obviously, it doesn't fit in there yet, but I'm going to be turning this around to try to match that up. I want this orange and yellow rotated so I can match this orange with maybe an orange here or somewhere else. But anyway, R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. Okay, looking at this, I can see that this isn't going to come to over here. What I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to take this, bring it over here, and I've lined these two up. So I'm just going to take this, move this top side, and move it back. R, D. I'm kind of working on two edges at the same time. Now that this is top side, I'm just going to go ahead and move this back. It's going to perform two functions. One is it freed this up or put these two together. The others it freed this up away from here so that I can move it back. So I'm going to move it back. Okay, now that I've done that, and this is here, I'm going to take this and move it down to a position over here. R-I-D-I-R-D. R-I-D-I-R-D. So I have this over here. What my intention now is to take this 
and line it up with this over here. So what I want to do now is I want this to match up with this guy over here. In order to do that, I'm going to bat this out of the way, bring it out of the way like this, move this up so that I can move it into this piece. R I D I R D R I D I R D and again R D. Okay. Move this back and now this is in line. So without giving it too much thought, move this down to the middle layer. D. Bring this in so now I have the sheet over here so now I'm going to move this top side. R I D I R D R I D I R D and move it back. So I've maintained these positions and I'm slowly working on this piece over here. Now at the same time, I'm still keeping in mind what I'm doing here, trying to make sure that this corner matches up with as many edges as possible. So what I'm looking for now is blue and orange. Blue and orange is here. This is already ready made over here, as you can see. So I'm just going to move this to the middle and uh, really just solve this. So R I D I R D R I D I R D. So I could just move this in here. Whoop but this is the wrong one. So this, what well, actually we've got this one over here. So you see I have blue and yellow, blue and yellow. So I just had to do it again. Interesting. And see that coming. Okay, so move this in here and there's my other block. What I can do also is take a look and see what I have brewing over here because this is going to end up at this side over here. Okay, so let's just see what happens and where we're at after we get this in. So I'm going to move this here. Then I'm going to move it one beyond, and then do the corner swap. To our U, to our UI, to our, turn here, to our UI, to our U, to our, and then move it across. Okay, so this is in, this is in, this is in, and now we take a look at this. So this is where things get a little complicated with the AI solve. So here's the overall effect of what I'm going to try to do. As much as I can, I'm going to try to cause this corner to get to as many edges as possible. All the time being cognizant of, uh, of getting one by one by two bars and seeing if I have any patterns of edge and centers that have a certain color scheme that's uh, reciprocal to each other. We're not really there yet. What I mean by that is I see a red, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, red. So the, there's three different patterns, and what I'm looking for is just one pattern um, where I have like a red, yellow, and maybe a red, yellow down here or something like that. But I don't see that, which means I, I have this away from too many corners. I have this one by two bar, bar here, and I have this over here, which is all very good. So what I'm going to do is let's move this top side. When I look at this, I'm looking at this very much as the same as this. You can look at this as two one by two bars, just like this. And if I move through this plane over here, I'm not disrupting these at all. So let's move this top side. R I D I R D R I D I R D. So let's look at this perspective in order to understand what I'm talking about. I'm looking at this as a as two protected one by um, one by two bars. Down over here, I see red and blue. Over here, I see red and blue. That's actually the configuration that I'm looking for, because what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to match these two pairs together. I'm going to try to match the red and blue over here with the red and blue over here. Once I do that, then I have a one by, uh, one by two bar that I can use to try to put into proper position. So see if that makes sense to you, but eventually you're going to try to get in, into a position like, like that. I just happen to get it over here. The real question now is how am I going to take it to where I'm going to take this and line it up with this side over here so that I have a red on the outside and blue on the inside. Obviously it's, it's in the wrong way here. The only way that that's going to happen is if I manage to put this here, this red and blue, to another red and blue like I do over here and now turn it around so that now when I rotate it, it'll end up here and then it'll be in, in congruence with here. It'll be congruent, uh, congruent with this over here. So here's what the general approach is. In order to be able to flip this so that it can be with, with this area over here, is I need to put this where there's a solid blue. Because if I do that, like over here, if this wasn't here, I'd have to maneuver um, 
a two by two by two block over to here. But if I move this over here, then this is a red and blue and this is a red and blue. If I turn it around, it'll end up over here. So here's what I mean by that. Now that I've lined this up here, I found another solid blue side so that I can invert it. I'm gonna take this and move it over here. So rotate it over here. R I D I R D R I D I R D. Keep going. D R I D I R D. Now the characteristics of this is set. I've got this whole thing that's in, right? I've got one by two bar here, one by two bar here, but this whole thing is shared. This is a one by two bar, and this is a one by two bar. I've got a red and blue here that's kind of uh, um, incongruent with each other but it can be placed over to here. So I turn this in and bang. Now I've got this whole sheet here and this whole sheet over here too. So this one by two by, um, one by one by two bar, one by one by two bar, but this is actually a one by two by two sheet over here. Now that I have that, and again, my whole point was to find a numerator and a denominator that had the same pattern color and I had to sort of finagle it around. Now I'm gonna move this top side. R I D I R D R I D I R D. So basically what I have now is I have this here with a blue and red ready to come into here to be solved. Then I have this here with a blue and white ready to be solved over here. When approaching that kind of a situation, move it in, then move it once more so that nothing is in and doing a corner swap will allow these to be redistributed so that I can do one more turn to put to put the rest in. 2R U, 2R UI, 2R, turn, 2R UI, 2R U, 2R, turn it in, and there you got it. In, in, in. Yes, I know. It's difficult. It's complicated. It's hard to describe, hard to understand, um, but my suggestion is this. To do this, you need to have a familiarity with doing an AI solve. If you have that familiarity, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have that familiarity, it's a little hard to visualize, but just keep working with that. Because honestly, I don't have algorithms memorized for each set. There's certain vague things that I'm looking for. But in any case, now I have the equivalent of these being placed. That's what these corners represent.